Hey, fight fans. Welcome back to Greatest Hits here on Boxing Legends TV. Today, we'll be taking a look at the hard-hitting welterweight Keith, one time third. 21 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Keith, one time. Thurman made his television debut on August 14, 2009, taking on Travis Hartman in Tucson, Arizona. Thurman had built up a record of 9-0, all by way of knockout, with eight coming in the first round. In recent years, recent trainer of the year, and a right hand comes in, as does a right uppercut from Thurman, and he's getting to the business at hand right away. Piercing right hands, landing time and time again here in the opening minute, 20 seconds of this fight. From Keith Thurman. Hartman's doing what he can to survive, moving his head a little bit. Turn south. Thurman scored two knockdowns in the opening round, and then, at the start of the second, put a solid combination together, and Hartman's corner had no choice but to throw in the towel. From 150 to 152 pounds, and if Thurman goes to the body now, this fight will end. This fight's going to end any second unless Hartman throws anything back, and the towel is thrown in by the corner of Travis Hartman. May 5th, 2012. Thurman faced his first test against Brandon Hoskins, who was undefeated through 17 bouts. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. God bless. Touch up. Watch that overhand right hand by Hoskins. Nice little left hook by Thurman. Thurman, up on his toes, coming forward. Nice left hook to the body. Thurman, just looking for that open. Oh, nice. Yeah, that really hurt Hoskins. Thurman dominated the punch exchanges in the opening rounds, throwing fast, powerful shots with deadly accuracy. And in round three, the ref had seen enough. Hoskins saying, coming forward, something. not a good thing. Stop. Referee says, show me something, stop it. Good move. Good move. Good job. Deal with me pretty soon. Thurman took on former IBF world champion Jan Zabek for the WBO Intercontinental Welterweight title at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Check yourself at all times. Touch your gloves. Good luck to you. Well, Thurman has some circus-like knockouts on the highlight reel. He has demonstrated, at least against his level of opposition, real one-punch power. So Zalvik definitely feels the power of, of Thurman. Good hook from Thurman right there. And he's trying to land that shot in the midst of Thurman's punches. Well, Thurman's landed three or four really good left hooks, so Zalvik determines he counters it with the right hand immediately. Lands another one of those right hands off a of Thurman hook. Hard left hand to the body. That bothers Zabek. Thurman too. dominated the fight, landing powerful shots from the opening bell and proved he belonged at championship level, scoring a complete shutout on the judges' scorecards to win a unanimous decision. We go to the scorecards. All three judges scored about the same 120 to 108, all for the winner by unanimous decision. And new WBO Intercontinental Champion, Keith, one time Thurman. July 27, 2013. Thurman faced undefeated Argentinian Diego Chavez for the WBA interim title. The fight was fought at a fast pace, with both men landing hard shots. But Thurman was getting the better of his opponent, and in the ninth round, his hard work paid off when he scored his first knockdown with a vicious body shot. Oh, body shot there by Thurman, and it drops Chavez to one knee. The round number 10, and it's Thurman on the attack. Swarming Chavez along the ropes. And Chavez is again down on the canvas for the second time in the fight. And this fight is over. Keith Thurman stops Diego Chavez. April 26, 2014. Thurman faced two-time world champion Julio Diaz at the Stub Hub Center in Carson, California. About this rising knockout artist. Oh, the left uppercut jacking the jaw of Diaz. And Thurman swarming. He wants to turn it into a firefight and give the fans a show. Oh, right hook, a right hand by Thurman. But look at Diaz come back. Made it a little difficult for him, but then his corner stops it after Diaz suffers an injury to his ribs from a vicious body shot from the hard hitting and undefeated Keith Thurman. March 7th, 2015. 
Thurman faced the two weight world champion and rugged tough man Robert Guerrero for the WBA World Welterweight title. Fighting at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, Thurman scored a knockdown in the ninth and eventually won a one sided points victory. Decision. And still undefeated, Keith One Time. July 11, 2015, Thurman made his first defense of his WBA crown against former world champion Luis Colasso. Athletic, and he obviously looked good, but then Colasso found his stride and he did it with that body shot in the fifth yeah, ten. Left hand to the body, and watch it, he timed it perfect. As he throws the right hand, he goes under with the left hand. That's a shot that stopped 95% of fighters. However, a cut, and then this. They have to respond that they want to fight on. Even though the hood bumps me, nothing ain't changed. Still up in the hood, hung. Gotta maintain, but I feel a bit jumpy. So I'm sitting there looking at my big pump. I get love from the villains in blocks when I do shows, love from the women in flocks. So when walking the park drops, you the fool, I'll be swimming in.